the largest portion of South Africa's budget is spent on education, over 232 billion rands. Yet many experts believe that the country's education system is in crisis, with the World Economic Forum ranking South Africa 140th out of 144 countries in terms of the quality of state education. There are so many challenges that teachers and principals have to face. Um, in an area like Ayalicha, for example, the threat of gangsterism is it really has an, a negative impact on, on education. We also have um, extreme poverty where kids um, come to school hungry and that also has an impact on and obviously a negative impact on how kids um, can concentrate in class. So the crisis I believe can be overcome with if correct measures are put in place but there is a crisis. Via Africa is an educational publishing house that has been producing textbooks for almost 60 years. To appeal to the digital generation, the company has decided that all the books from grades 4 to 12 be brought out in electronic versions with enhanced content. Okay, what we looked at is learners want more than just a paper page and we already had lots of books in the market but too many learners didn't have access to the enhanced content that we had. So we looked at the possibilities of how do you make learning more interesting, more interactive. And we came across the augmented reality app by Leia and we decided to call it Living Pages. And what it does is the learner can point a smartphone at a picture on certain pages in our books and get to watch a video, listen to a poem read to them and actually experience what's happening rather than just looking at some of the page. The Living Pages and Test Yourself applications are available for free download on Android and Apple devices. The apps make use of augmented reality technology to make the textbooks come alive. Yeah, I think the first thing is it's magic, and it, it is magic. You point your phone at a page, you tap it, something happens, the page squiggles a little, and then all of a sudden you're listening to a voice, reading a poem that you're looking at, or you're watching a video. And in our experience, people are quite gobsmacked at it because it is that magic. And what that's going to do for us, I think, is it allows the learner the opportunity to experience more. There's only so much you can put into a book. And so many learners have books rather than electronic media for everything. So the teacher can take advantage of that in order to be able to excite the class, enhance the learning. Monique Peterson is a grade 10 learner at Noorde Paul High School and finds using the mobile app far more stimulating than conventional classes. Yes, it's quite exciting, the new app. I saw it for the first time this year and it's quite exciting. The app was quite interesting, I've learned a lot and it's part of my schoolwork and so I get to know it well. Via Africa see mobile technology playing a key role in improving both the access and quality of education in South Africa. I think mobile technology is critical because it's a, it allows people to have access on a small scale rather than saying well let's put in computer labs into every classroom and see what we can do in there. Mobile technology gives the learner the opportunity to be using the smartphone that they've inherited from their parent as people upgrade. It means that they're able to interact with books means you can stream content to them a whole lot easier and quickly and it means that eventually I think when the departments of education are on board they're going to be able to interact with the learners and teachers far quicker than via the old send out the textbooks wait for them. The lack of quality education in South Africa severely undermines the poor and the country's economic growth. Via Africa's goal is to provide a high level of education that is easily accessible with offline digital textbooks and learning apps. The company also produces a Mobi Reader app which allows teachers and learners to download their educational material in ebook format.